Okay guys, today we are going to be talking about a knife that needs no introduction, the Cold Steel SRK. Now it is wickedly hot out here, so hopefully the camera doesn't overheat. It's nearly 80 above, I think it is actually 80 above. Definitely hotter in the sunlight, as you can see. But uh, I thought I'd do just a little bit of use on this uh, knife, showcase it, and ultimately do a kind of five years later. I've had the SRK, this one specifically, for five years. And uh, just go over this knife because I featured in a lot of videos and, you know, kind of explain why this knife still rocks, why it, why I usually choose it uh, for so many different list videos, and why I think it's a really great option. Now, to start off, um, this knife here, the one featured, is the Cold Steel SRK. This is the most budget version. This is the SK5 high carbon steel variant, and this one is in the hollow grind. And I'm going to get into some use case and you know, why I do actually like the hollow grind and why I think that this knife, for its price, even with inflation nowadays, being as bad as it is, is still a really good, solid option, and why you should definitely, if you haven't already picked up an SRK, consider at least picking one up. So, as always, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon and the Instagram. The support, whether it's behind the scenes or not, means a ton to the channel. And of course, you guys help keep this channel running. So anyways, now let's jump into it. So like I said, this is the Cold Steel SRK, and it's an SK5, and it's the hollow grind. The reason why I say that is this knife has been made for, I think, about close to 20 years, and it's come out in a plethora of different um, variants, uh, ranging from CPM3V and Sanmai to SK5 and OS8 uh, being being on the more budget end. Now, uh, when this blade originally released, I believe it was OS 8A that it used, and then they upgraded to SK5 high carbon. But in just about any way that you slice it or put this S SRK into a setup, it is absolutely fantastic. And the first point that I really have to note with this knife is it definitely borrows heavily from Falkneven's book of the Falkneven A1. It's actually very similar to the A1, but it has this fully fully rubberized handle with a not exposed full tang, so it's not a true full tang, but near full tang that makes it very tough, yet very comfortable to hold in a wide variety of circumstances, environments, and temperatures. Now, unfortunately, on a day like today, this handle is mighty hot because it is black and the sun is coming straight down on it, so it is absorbing up all those nice uh, rays and making it a little bit hot to handle, but at the same time, too, this handle is very comfortable in the cold. Now, next to that is just simply the performance and the size of the SRK. The SRK really has that kind of, for a survival and camp knife, has about that Goldilocks effect or that near perfect size for everything you would need it to do. So it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be a pretty good size to baton, as you guys can see. This baton straight through about a four-inch log. It did take up most of the blade because this is a four-inch, you know, wide piece of wood, and this is only a five-inch blade. But it was able to go through it with good ease and uh, really no issues. You know, a couple wax, a couple hard wax, and you're through. Now that also is a testament to its durability. This tool is very, very durable, and I know that there have been lemons that are out there that exist and people have said before that you know they've got some of those bad uh, bad lemon SRKs that have broken but from my experience and from many many other people's experience here on YouTube and off YouTube the SRK even in its hollow grind fashion is still an extremely tankable tanky very durable blade and so you get a really good mixture of comfort and reliability in your tool and uh, on top of that too the coating is held the coating holds up pretty well this is of course a budget knife so it has a budget coating but honestly as far as it goes it is a multi-layer coating and it held it's holding it's held up pretty darn well about the only spots where this coating is really worn through is the absolute high wear areas like on the uh, kind of cheeks of the grind 
and on the back of the spine where I've struck the ferro rod, which you would expect on just about any coated blade uh, out there. So really, honestly, a pretty awesome bargain. Now, granted, due to uh, inflation and other such things we won't talk about on the channel, uh, these blades are not as cheap as they used to be, but back in the good old days, back when I bought this one, I think I got it for like $37, and for the longest time, you could get these reliably under $50. Nowadays, if you're crafty and you wait for a sale, you might be able to get them under $50, but generally, by and large, under $60, the SK5 SRK, usually that's what's running. Sometimes it does spike up to, to about $70. But either way, even if you did end up paying $70 for an SRK, you're still actually getting a really solid knife. And at its price point, especially like the $30 to $40 range, it punches well above its weight. But even at the $70 range, it is very comparable, if not better than most of its competition for, once again, its specific survival and outdoors kind of wilderness living tasks. So overall uh, as far as the performance goes it is fantastic now like i mentioned a few times and wanted to make it a point to mention this is a hollow ground blade i believe in my original review i said it was a flat grind because originally uh, SRKs came in flat grinds and even like my SRK compact or SRKC is a flat grind so largely they are flat grinds but these hollow grind versions are actually a really good example of a high performing and what a hollow grind should perform like in the wilderness. A lot of people because of the way a hollow grind is structured they just automatically write the hollow grind off as a weak or you know, non-durable or not strong enough to be used in the wilderness type grind. And once again, there are lemons out there that exist by, you know, Cold Steel and other knife companies that exude that weakness of the hollow grind. But by and large, when you're talking about a properly heat treated blade, like most of these are, I'd say 95% of them, if not more, uh, you're dealing with a very strong knife that is going to be able to ha handle any task realistically uh, just fine but also that hollow grind is very very sharp and very very good at doing things like feather sticking doing things such as um, doing things such as feather sticking such as notching such as uh, wood processing and even uh, animal or natural resource processing so it's going to do a very good job at those because it has such a good slicey edge to it and there's not a lot of material behind the very bevel. So uh, you, you really do get a lot of benefits from the hollow grind and this knife along with the uh, Chris Reeve Knives Pacific I think are very good representations of solid knives that are outdoor designs that are hollow grinds that perform well. Uh, so, of course, like I said, not everything is made perfectly, and there are lemons by any and every manufacturer, but by and large, if you do get to experience one of these uh, SRKs in a hollow grind, it will likely change your mind about hollow grinds as a whole. Anyways, that's essentially what I have to say about the SRK. It is probably one of the most squared away around, probably one of the most squared away around 10 to 11 inch overall length survival blades out there and uh, it's very tough to beat like I said that's why it's in so many of my different videos uh, comparing and contrasting uh, you know budget knives or just list videos as a whole is because it works well in so many different conditions and for the price it's very very hard to beat and I think that a lot of my viewers who own SRKs will chime in in the comments uh, much to agree and I mean, really, if you get, like I said, if you get to experience an SRK, a cold steel SRK, you'll probably come to the same point. In fact, this is very much a knife where if you did not want to spend, you know, more than $70 on a knife, but you wanted the knife for the rest of your life to just do general outdoors, camping, you know, wilderness tasks, this is one of those knives. I think there's a handful, probably especially a few from Mora, but I think that there are a handful of knives that kind of fit that category, but the SRK is definitely on that list because it is a very high performing very solid knife no complaints with this blade so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always god bless and i'm out